Kevin Chappell has never birdied the 18th here in 11 competitive rounds. This is it, the power of visualization. See it happening. Didn't waste any time right at it. Walking after it, urging it, and look at him knock it stiff. Kevin Chappell's performance on the course can be credited to the countless hours spent training with his swing coach, Mark Blackburn. Every week, under Mark's watchful eye, Chappell dedicates his time to improving even the most minute details of his game. Okay, hold on a sec. Get a little bit more like that to start with. But Mark knows the key to Chappell's success ultimately lies in the foundation of his swing. Kevin's said to me he doesn't really feel like his contact's particularly good. His pivot got a little bit off, a little bit orientated to the right, so we're just neutralizing it. Starting with very short shots today, just trying to keep his head a little bit more centered and rotate around his spine, as opposed to him moving his torso off of the ball. You'll never be able to stick with the feeling of being neutral with the arms and the shaft and the face mm -hmm. if you're orientating it from here. Essentially what we try to do with his golf swing is create a very neutral motion where his body is rotating and his hands and arms are following the body so the pivot's controlling the swing. Kevin's work ethic and determination have certainly contributed to his sessions with Mark as he tirelessly plugs away at every aspect of his game, knowing that the hard work is just a part of the journey on his way to the top. I'm just going to keep feeding myself the the right things, doing the right things in my game, and uh, you know it'll come when it comes. He's got that determination. His work ethic is sensational. I mean, he's sun up to sun down. I think if he continues down this road, great things will happen. It's not a question of if; it's just a question of when. Better. <laughs> 